Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second video in the unboxing of the Canon EOS M50. In this video, we will specifically be covering the small rig cage and extension handle, as well as how to attach the external microphone and external light source to this rig. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, some of the accessories that I've picked up for the uh, Canon EOS M50. First off, from the uh, company called uh, Small Rig, they make a frame adapter uh, for this camera and uh, not just a generic. Uh, cage uh, for the M50, but one that is specifically designed for the M50. The uh, the grip on the uh, side of the M50 as it is out of the box is relatively small. And, and again, you can see by the size of my hand, and I don't really have big hands, but that the, uh, the camera fits very comfortably into the uh, palm of my hand. As a matter of fact, I've, I've got my older Canon. This is the Canon EOS Rebel T3. And this is a mirrored camera, full frame, whereas the Canon EOS M50 is a mirrorless camera. And uh, if, for anyone new to photography, if you don't know what the differences in between those two are, uh, again, there are instructional videos online explaining the differences in between how these two cameras operate. So I won't go into that in any detail here. But uh, that is to say that you can see the uh, tremendous amount of difference in size between uh, this camera, which I bought this 10, 11 years ago, I believe. And I believe this one came out again in uh, 2018. But uh, again, there's a world of difference in the size. This one, the older model here, fits very, very comfortably in the hand. The buttons are very easy to, uh, to get to and uh, articulate. Yeah, very, very comfortable good size this one the uh the new one the eos m50 a little bit smaller not that that's a bad thing again because this one is much much lighter than this model here as well but again getting back to the cage this particular cage custom built for this camera in that once the camera is mounted in the cage you still have full access to all of the access doors all of the buttons and most importantly the battery compartment and the memory card on the bottom of the camera uh, can still be accessed even through the cage. So you mean there are uh, many, many professional photographers and uh, cinematographers out there that are using uh, this particular setup with this particular camera and uh, they're able to uh, put all of their equipment on it, access monitors, microphones, lights, uh, just a little bit of everything uh, can be easily attached to this particular uh, system. So, and, and this is relatively inexpensive too, by the way. Uh, it doesn't cost all that much, but uh, they've done a really, really super job in uh, developing uh, this cage for this camera. But uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and mount this in here for you. It's a very simple operation. Just take the camera, drop it in through the back of the cage. Kind of just sets in. And then there's a screw, you'll notice, right here on the bottom of the camera. And that lines up perfectly with that screw that you would normally use for the tripod. Get it started here, there it goes. It screws right into the hole. Now, once it gets started, uh, you can really tell that the quality of this small rig adapter is very very good they even supply you with a uh, a key that is held in place uh, by tiny magnets on the uh, bottom of the cage and uh, you simply finish tightening that screw up with the tool that they provide and it really locks this 
Camry in there good and tight. Just like so, and you can just slip the key right there and then you're good to go. Now that, that camera is in there and it's not going anywhere. And as you can see, you still have function uh, of the camera. All the controls, including the articulating screen, still flips out, still works just fine. Doesn't hit anything, which is really, really cool to have. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, this extra grip now on access doors, the articulating screen works flawlessly, even with the cage on the camera. Cage uh, for the uh, Canon M50. All right, moving on. Next thing, this handle right here. And uh, the reason why you might be interested in mounting this onto the cage is that uh, if you're uh, shooting video at a, a very, very low angle to the ground, this makes it much easier just to hold the camera by the handle, uh, lower yourself down to the ground, and you, you're much smoother at moving the system around. It's very easy to, uh, to pan and keep it low to the ground to get those uh, low to the ground shots that uh, you'll be after, which makes it much, much more convenient. Again, you can see that uh, they, they took their time with the quality. This is a uh, aluminum alloy, but it's been drilled and tapped all around the handle for adding accessories to the handle. So again, you can really unlimit it in your choice of how you rig your particular system and uh, how you go about using it and the accessories that you buy for it. But you never have to uh, drill and tap anything because there are so many different options on these handles and also on the uh, actual cage itself that make it very, very easy to do that. So I'll go ahead and uh, attach this uh, handle to the uh, top of the cage. Uh, you simply just line up the holes, start finger tightening the quarter twenties. And I'll leave uh, links to uh, these accessories that I picked up. Uh, in the description below if you guys would be interested in those and then they also give you the uh, the tools the uh, allen keys or and everything that you need in order to uh, tighten these down so basically you just slip it on there snug them down like so a lot more easier to do that uh, with this handle on top of the uh, the camera as we have it here now I don't always leave this handle on there when I'm uh, done shooting a uh, video or uh, I know I'm not going to be using the, the handle. Again, very, very quick and easy as you, you saw there to uh, take it on and off the camera. Uh, but I always leave the uh, cage on the, on the camera again because it, it just makes the camera feel better and uh, gives you a little more purchase with your fingers on the side of the camera while still being able to fully use all the functions of the camera. Next up, Microphone, external microphone. So many different models of these out. Rode, uh, for instance, and in, uh, Audio Technique and a various one. This happens to be a uh, mobile uh, model lens. It has the wind protector on it at the moment. I'll take that off just so you can see. There you go. That's what it looks like without the sock. But uh, wind sock just slips on and off, no problem. Uh, again, uh, they uh, do suggest, and I say they, I'm talking about the uh, professional uh, videographers out there, uh, suggest that uh, if you're uh, really going to get serious about your audio that you use a external microphone. And uh, so I went on and uh, picked one up. Uh, again, relatively inexpensive. Uh, I'll leave uh, a link to this particular model in the description below, but the sky's the limit on choosing the, uh, the one that uh, you might want to use your yourself because there are so many different kinds but i'll go ahead and mount this on here just so you'll get an idea of some of the options that, that you would have in order to mount it now on this cage they have uh, hot shoes that are also built already into the cage there are again your options are limitless on where you want to mount them because you can buy mounting plates as a matter of fact i have a couple of them here uh, these can be mounted anywhere on this frame 
and you can uh, slip your accessory. Just to show you how the microphone goes, uh, just slip it on to the uh, hot shoe there. Or in this case, I should say cold shoe. And we can tighten that down. Just like that. Mic mounted. If you're going to be doing this outside in, in particular, I would uh, definitely suggest that you do put your uh, windsock on there. It, it won't show up in the frame. It slips right over the camera in this fashion. I'm just not putting it on there now because it blocks the view of the, uh, have you guys have a good view of that. Uh, so there it is with the mic on and the, uh, the handle in place. Next, we'll move on to how we mount the light onto the camera body. In this uh, particular instance, I purchased Ulanzi Select, uh, these uh, W49 LEDs. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. I'll leave a link to these in the uh, description below. Mount that on here. And you have many, many options using the small rig cage. And uh, basically all you do, uh, there is a code shoe on the top of the handle that we installed earlier. And uh, you just slip it in, tighten it down. There's a thumb screw here on the uh, bottom. Just screw that down tight. Light is on. And there you have a basic little vlogging system. Lightweight, good grip, has the light, has the sound. All features are still accessible, even with the uh, grip uh, permanently attached in this, in this fashion. Also, the articulating screen, fully accessible even with it on there you'll still be able to view yourself in the screen while you're vlogging so you know you're in focus or in uh, whatever you're trying to compose in the uh, frame is also going to stay in the frame as you're uh, as you're doing what you do so a uh, very very neat little system there Okay, gang, that about wraps it up for today. Thanks for uh, stopping in and uh, checking out the unboxing of the Canon EOS M50, as well as some of the accessories that I've uh, equipped the camera with for vlogging, uh, that being the small rig cage, uh, microphone, and uh, light system. Uh, I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy this particular setup. Uh, if you're into vlogging or uh, portable uh, video uh, taking out in the field, this camera is awesome for that. So you guys check that out. I'll link some descriptions to the videos below for the setup of the camera, as well as uh, some of the advanced features by uh, some of the more knowledgeable people online uh, who have been using this camera for a while. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy those and uh, come back and check in with me again. Uh, you guys have an awesome day. It was good seeing you, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, time to roll that beautiful end credit.